So once again, we are with our models of PBR. We have F1, which depends on conversion and dropping pressure, and F2, which depends on, of course, once again, conversion and pressure. We got this system, and we got huge equations for this and for this. Of course, having an initial condition of mass, which is, in general, zero. So if you cannot approximate this one to zero, then you will not be able to do the analytical method, which we've seen before here. We will not be able to get this part right here. So what do you do in that case? We use numerical methods to solve that differential equation. And I like especially the Euler's method, or Euler, I don't know how to pronounce it, in German it will be Euler, Euler. And essentially it's to estimate this solution and once you have that you will by the end of the estimation have your final value so I'm not going to explain it that much because this is actually not a topic in reactor engineering it's how, just how to solve this problem so if you want to check it out there are many videos in the internet then the numerical method, yes, yeah, a small review, yeah, I'm going to explain you a little bit uh, how does the method works, but uh, you should know by now, if you have your numerical method classes, and if not, once again, check it out in the internet, because it's a topic I'm not going to explain you guys. Just search typical numerical methods for solving differential equations, and this is a first order, but maybe you may find interest to find also how to solve second order. We got also runge kutte method, which is essentially, or Euler's method is essentially a simplification of the runge kutte method. And what I want you to explain you here is that you actually, with one point, you estimate the second point, and then you get that area. And with that, you predict the second point, and then you get that area. And as you can see, you are getting the not only you get the area under these points, you get each point value. So depending on what you want, probably you want the area, or probably you want just to solve this equation. Whatever you get, uh, you will find out the pressure drop, the conversion, and the total mass used. So one thing here, guys, is that actually we are not getting the equation, we, we will not find an equation like y equals this dependence, very nice, I don't know, whatever it might be. Uh, we are finding out the final value, so you want to know the final drop, uh, pressure drop at this conversion, you will get this value, of course, but saying that you get this equation is false, because you are not going to do that. And once again, you can underestimate, here you are overestimating, yeah, look at how you are trying to predict it. Oops, stopped. Let me check again. Then here, and continue, this GIF is kind of slow, but what we're doing here is trying to predict, uh, let me check. Okay, four, and then should comes five, and then comes N, N means that you continue, and then N plus one. So just let me check it once again. You start with this differential equation, and then just you propose one value at initial condition, which is t0. And you have, of course, you have this. For example, let's say t is actually conversion. These values are conversion. And these values are dropping pressure. So that's why probably the book uses y, because normally when you solve this numerical method, you need to have a y or y axis. So you have this, and then you apply this formula, just the next value will be this one here, plus the height, or height, or difference here, which will be this difference here, and that function with this, uh, how I say it, yeah, Tn will be this one here. So this is overestimating the function, this is underestimating the function, it goes under the curve, the other one was over the curve. And yeah, the range kutta method, once again, is here. I'm not going to explain that. Actually, it's a little bit more complex than Euler's method. Uh, yeah, essentially, that's how we will solve one. I'm going to include you some material in the course, 
so just visit my webpage if you have any doubts just go here and I have I think at least one or two uh, problems of the PBR how we can cal calculate the pressure drop and the mass needed for that reaction to occur and next we're going to see how to solve it with a software What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.